let's continue building our project so in this video we're going to complete the textile utility class here so click on that we have already started this project from the previous video so let's finish it this time before we can start coding we have to make sure that we import all the the dotnet api components that we will be needing so imports autodesk.autocad that application services let's just copy this four times so the second one is database services the third one is the runtime and finally the editor input there you go so now we are accepting three parameters from from the calling function that this is from the ui so we have to make sure that we open the drawing file first before we can start processing with the updating the text style so to do that we have to declare a document object as document equals application that document manager that open and that will be the dwg path this one here all right so now we have our object open we can proceed with the other uh, variable that we will be needing so dim db as database equals doc that database let's also create an editor object as editor equals document that editor okay now before we do anything else we have to make sure that the drawing is locked otherwise the use the ui will give us an error or something like invalid uh, invalid something i don't recall the actual message so make sure you lock the document then edt that write message let's just say here updating text style in the drawing i think it's something like invalid uh, violation okay so now that we have all the variables we need we can start the transaction so using trans as transaction and we'll be using the db that transaction manager that start transaction okay so since this is a kind of a comprehensive method we'll make sure that we handle all the the events or the error message that might be encountered during the process so let us create a try catch block so type in try and enter it will create for us the this code block here so let's handle the the catch block first so if there's something error that happened during the process we just write the message saying that error encountered and concatenate that one with the actual message with the actual error message and then we abort the transaction because let's say for example we are we were processing and some somewhere in the middle there is a problem so whatever we have already updated with the text style will just be aborted okay so now that we have the exception handled let's focus now our attention to this code block here so the first thing is we have to let's say gather all the m text with the old text style because we will be replacing those so to do that we need to create a filter and we need to create a type value that we can enter our filter criteria so let me call this as dim tv type value old as type value 
and that will be equal to new type value and we have to specify here the number of filters that we will be adding in our case we will be needing two the first one is m text and the second one is the style so we have to specify here one because this is a zero based which means zero and one so we have two and start with an empty array there Next, we have to set the value of this uh, typed value. So TV old dot set value. TV old dot. Oh, I missed here something. It should be, yeah. Dot set value. And new type value. That will be our start so we have to convert that to c int convert to integer dxf code dot start that will be an m text as the value and that is our uh, first item in our typed value next Let's just copy this line of code here and then the next filter is the text style name, this one here. And that will be equal to the old text style. Old text style. And that will be the second item in our filter. Okay, so next we have to create a filter variable. And we will pass in this uh, typed value variable. So dim, let's just call this as filter as selection filter equals new selection filter. And we will pass on the TV old typed value. Now we will need also a prompt selection result. Th this will handle the if there are some M text with the old style in the drawing. So we call that at, as dim PSR as prompt selection result equals EDT that select all and we will pass in the filter. So we are selecting now from the drawing passing the filter and we store it in this uh, prompt selection result variable. So now we have to make sure that the status of the PSR that status is equal to prompt status that okay then we will do the processing here otherwise Let's just create this else, which means that there is no drawing selected. So, I mean, there's no M text selected. So, let's just provide here the message. No M text found with that old style. Okay, so let's handle now if there are M text found. So now we need to have a selection set that will store all of the selected objects from here. So dim ss as selection set that will be equal to the psr that value. Now since we are updating the text style, we need to have a text style table uh, variable so we can uh, check if there is an existing if there is a uh, all text style from that text style table let me just call this as dim tst as text style table equals we will cast it to text style table so we'll just we can use the C type method here and that is coming from the get object 
database.textStyleTableID. Then the open mode that for read and that will be cast to text style table okay so now we need to have a variable that will store the text style the db text style we will call that as dim style id as object id that will be the db the text style All right, so now let's uh, check if the text style table has the old text style. So if TST that has the old text style, then our style ID now will be equal to TST new text style. So this is now our uh, new text style that that came from the text style table. Now we can proceed to update the old text style to a new text style for each of the M text. So we will be doing that using the for each loop. So for each selected OBJ, a selected object in our selection set we will create an entity and cast it into an m text so dim and as m text equals to we can use the try cast uh, conversion method here trans that get object s obj that object ID open mode this time for write because we will be updating the style then cast it to M text now that we have the entity we can now change the style so and that text style ID will now be equal the, to the style ID this one here and that's it and finally after we replaced all the old text style from the selection set we can just uh, message the user now edt that write message total m text selected ss that count that to string this is just optional because we also handle this in the UI and finally we have to make sure that after all these process are completed we have to commit our transaction so that any changes that we've done for the text style will be saved so we have to do now the save us dwg path that is our file name same file name then the version we will be using just dwg version dot current and after we save we have to make sure that we close the drawing close and discard so that there will be no multiple drawings open in autocad so we process one drawing we update the textile we commit the transaction we save it and then we close and then that's it we go back to the ui again then a new drawing will be passed onto this method and this just keeps going until all the drawings in the list box are completed so that's uh, our code for the, po uh, the process update style we are done with this except for one thing we need to make sure that we have a public method that will be called from the command prompt 
So let's just create another method here called public sub. Let's just call this as update text style. And all we have to do here is instantiate the form so that we can show it to the user. So dim, let me let me call this as frm as update text style form equals new update text style form. Then all we have to do is show the form and make sure that we have the command method that will be called from the command prompt. So let's just use the same method name here. So update text style. This will be our command. And that's it for our text style utility class. In the next uh, video, we are going to test our code. Okay, I'll see you there.